The Adventures of Slopey and Slug to the Moon and Back. It was a beautiful day in the Albany Forest. Slopey and Slug came across each other while looking out for a walk. Slug noticed that Slopey looked sad. Hi, Slopey. Are you okay? I need an adventure. Another one, Slopey? We just got back from our last one. I want to visit the moon and see what it's made of. It will be the best adventure ever. Please come with me. Slug agrees to the adventure. This made Slopey very happy, and they headed into the village together for supplies to build a spaceship. I no wonder what cool things we will find in the market. Let's check it out. Slopey and Slug realized very quickly that what they needed was not going to be at the market. However, Slug had an idea to help cheer up his friend. Hmm, lettuce, want some? Slopey, I have an idea. Come on, let's go to my garden shed. Slug went into his top secret garden shed. No one has ever been inside, so he made Slopey wait outside. No, no, I'm okay. Ha ha, I found it. Slopey was not happy with Slug's idea. He asked loudly, it's, it's a wheelbarrow. Then he asked, how is that going to get us to the moon? It's not finished, I have an idea. You go and get some supplies. This will take me all night, said Slug. I even made some cool space helmets. Be ready by 8 a.m. Slug put the wheelbarrow and the space helmets away. Slopey headed to the village to get some supplies. Hmm, lettuce. I will get the supplies. You can count on me. Slug was hard at work making his new invention. A lot of noises were coming from the shed. Crash, bang, pang, pow. The alarm clock in Slopey's room went off. Wake up, it's 8.17 a.m. and Slopey has slept in. Slug told him 8 a.m. sharp. Slopey bounced out of bed late with such excitement, he just could not wait to see what Slug had made. Yikes, I'm so late. Slopey arrived at Slug's garden shed with supplies. Slug, Slopey cries out. Slug, I'm here, I have supplies. Okay, I'm coming out. Put your glasses on and close your eyes. No peeking. I remember the lettuce, yummy le sandwiches. Yummy. Slopey was so excited. Slug had added rockets to the wheelbarrow. They both headed to the big open field to start the countdown for blast off. Rockets, lettuce, could this day get any better? It was a perfect sunny day. Slopey and Slug put the wheelbarrow into place. Slug decided to name his new invention the Rocket Barrow. Start the countdown, Slug says excitedly. Supplies are packed, said Slopey. Three, two, one. Blast off! Slopey screams. This is so cool. Up, up, and away. Slopey and Slug left Earth and headed for the moon. No, Slopey, it's made of rock. Do you think the moon is made of cheese? No, it's cheese, and it will go great with lettuce sandwiches, said Slopey. They finally made it to the moon. Slopey wanted to explore and search for chunks of cheese to eat with his lettuce. He realized quickly that Slug was right. The moon was in fact made of rock. Slopey didn't stay sad for long though. He remembered he had his lettuce sandwiches. They both started to explore the surface of the moon. While exploring the surface of the moon, Slopey and Slug noticed a purple figure, a spaceship in the distance. Slug asked, do you see that? Yes, said Slopey excitedly. They both decided to check it out. They heard greetings, Earthlings. What brings you to the moon on this active galactic evening? My name is Neptune. Slopey introduces himself, then his best friend Slug. He tells Neptune they are an adventure to see what the moon is made of. Slopey was very distracted looking at the spaceship. Wow, is that your spaceship? Yes, responds Newton. Neptune, would you like to fly?